I go to the movies. What? What's for my wife? That's this one over here. On a very romantic date night. And I'm wearing a Baby Yoda shirt. Baby Yoda. And so this movie, it was on a very romantic date night. And it is about, oh, we saw it at the Regal. Regal, Regal. It was at the Regal. And it is about the the lady. And it's over in Africa. The woman. And, and the name of the movie is The Lion King. Oh, that's not the name of the movie. The movie is about uh, a female's king. The woman's king. The king's woman. No, that's no, different. No, that's different. Mm. The woman that's king. Different. Yeah. So, what? Well, and then, <laughs> so, so this movie, it is about the, the lady, I think her name is, is Violin Davison. And she... Viola Davison? Yeah. And there were many other actors and actresses in this movie. I did not know most of their names. So this is movie, it's about... Now, this isn't an exact... It's like, not based on a true it's story. It's not based on a true story. It's inspired but, by true events. But it's inspired by... Or something. Events that were not connected in history. But <laughs> they took liberties. Lots of, lots is of liberties. What, is what I've read. So, <laughs> the movie, it is about the, the tribe, and they have woman warriors. What? Out of nowhere. If you could ever even believe it, it totally shatters the patriarchies, which is what we're into these days. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh -huh. And the movie is also about an unfortunate time in history where there were slaves. Hmm. Just a large and, part of history, really. Oh, yeah. <laughs> many, many years. But specifically the time... When everybody's like, you know who would be good slaves? Those people in Africa. They seem to have a lot of them down there. And you know, they're not really wearing any clothes, so we can make them slaves. That's generally what white people do. We're like, anybody wearing less clothes than us should be a slave. It's kind of true. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but this is actually about... Uh, there are some Europeans. It's kind of interesting. There's a white guy, and then he has, like, a friend. They're not really Europeans, though. They said they're from South America. What? But, you know, colonies from Changing it European up. people. Colonies in South America. But one of the guys, he's, uh, he's half white and half black. And it just so happens that the half black part of him was from this tribe with the woman warriors. What? What? That's not really a spoiler. It's just a data point. So, uh, yeah. So, there's these bad guys. They're, they're an African tribe also. And they're like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to kidnap a bunch of other people from Africa and sell them to this white dude on a boat. If you can even believe it. The gall of some people. And then, so they're real scary and they have horses. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guys, they don't have horses on account of the Europeans didn't give them horses because they weren't, you know, buds or whatever. So, the movie, there's kind of a couple things going on here. Basically, this one tribe, the one with the women warriors, they're like, they're like a pretty good civilization. They got like a big city and all that. And they have their king and... Because of the way their gods are set up, they can have, they're supposed to have a woman king and a man king, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So the whole movie is kind of like, they're decide, there's been recently been a new man king. So then it's like deciding who's going to be the new woman king, that sort of thing. So that's not to say, because it's spoilers. I didn't mention it. Yeah, so there's this thing where the woman warriors, there's a couple different ways you can, like, join the like woman army or whatever one of the main characters her dad's like you're honorary i'm gonna take you them because i can't even get any guy to marry you because on account of the honoriness that was aforementioned and <laughs> the, she refused to tolerate abuse well yes otherwise known as honorary in that culture in that culture yeah <laughs> so so he so just dropped her off at the king's house yeah. and said, you handle yeah, it. Yeah, you take her. She, you can be one of your warriors. 
Yeah, so... And the other way is... Um, you are a rescued, kidnapped person from another tribe. Yeah, so let's just talk about how... A large part of this was how the different tribes enslaved each other. Yeah, and even, like, the main tribe with the... He's, like, he uses his own people as bartering chips, too. Mm-hmm. That sort of thing. And, you know, his people are like, you know, why don't we just, like, sell olive oil and stuff? Palm oil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The palm oil. Yeah, so, it's like, why are we selling people... Like, yeah, why are we selling our own people? When we got all we these. We got these other resources. These other we could do. And the thing I brought up, which wife didn't say, is they had so much indigo, mm-hmm. blue, which is a rare color. I just asked my husband about the indigo. He has many thoughts and feelings about it. I won't go too much. Into oh, it. good. I also have theories about the palm oil that I won't get into. Uh huh. But so there's, <laughs> there's this going on. <laughs> And they're basically like, well, let's try a different sort of trade, you know, other Mm -hmm. than selling our own people. Uh, uh (laughs) Let's uh, let's attempt it. What do you say? Uh They're like, the other guys show up and they're like, yeah, we want some people. And they're like, we're thinking about, you know, some palm oil. Like, what? (laughs) Look, Europeans don't care about no palm oil. They want peoples. (laughs) So, so that's, uh, that was their whole thing, you know. Yeah, which I thought was interesting that it really talked about that because I feel like maybe a lot of our media, when like we think about the Europeans coming on the boats, they take the slaves. Yeah. And I don't know how much we see of people taking each other, people yeah. conquering well, and taking yeah. captives. Yeah, it doesn't talk much about that. But so, I mean, I don't want to give away too much, like, the personal relationships. Basically, there's this new batch that's trying to become part of the army, you know. And there's, like, I'm the rambunctious type that thinks of my own. And, you know, the people are like, no, you got, we got to work as a group. You know, that sort of thing. And then there's the people that's like, oh, my best friend. I want her to be in the group. And then it's kind of like, yeah, but she's she's not good at, <laughs> at athletic things. <laughs> right. That's kind of our, our whole deal. So, <laughs> So there's all these different interpersonal things. And then there's like the palace intrigue with the the king's wives and all that sort of thing. So it's kind of cool. And then there's, you know, the the possible budding love interest of the guy who's half half from the... Because when you commit to be a warrior... It's like the Jedi in Star Wars. Is it? Yes. You're not allowed to dangle your dangles if you're... A Jedi. Or a woman warrior. <laughs> Apparently. So, there's that. But basically... There's that. There's really cool fight scenes. It's real bloody and brutal. My wife did not like that. You know, the thing is, you, you look at the trailer, you watch the trailer, or you think about, now, is this the movie I'd like to see? And you see the beautiful and the, landscape of and Africa. The, the empowerment of the women. And you see the things, and you're like, this is a movie I'd like to see. Women warriors? Yeah. This is interesting. And the beautiful landscape yeah. that is Africa and all and the culture that is this will be great. And I the aforementioned to, indigo. Correct. And I failed to take into account as an R You're gonna movie. have a woman king and it's, you're gonna be about women warriors. There's gonna be some violence. Yeah, it was pretty bloody. It was bloody. Um, it, and it we're was... not just using our little dropping some bombs and shooting our little No, it was blades. It's I'm close. talking about some some puncturings, some slitting of throats, the the amputating of of limbs. Let's just say that wasn't my favorite thing. The rolling of, of heads. Let's just say I'm not for sure what percentage of the movie I actually saw with my eyes. They, they show, like, broken bones sort of thing. <laughs> that might have been most so. of me. So it is an already It's a movie. lot. It's hard. It's a hard. It's harsh. Uh, it's with a, the mm-hmm. brutalness. Yeah. But the yeah. fights were cool. But the reality... Oh. And the training. Yeah, the training stuff is kind of cool. They and had the these, actual battles, they were cool. These, what do you call them? Mannequin might not be the right word. Yeah, they're dummies. They're yeah, just like yeah. practice dummies. It, it, yeah. So there's different things like that. The rambunctious one wanted to be like, let's do it like this. She yeah. Did, the beginning, she's like, I, I, the sword is too mighty and heavy for me. Yeah. <laughs> And so, they're like, you just decapitate them like this. Done. Like, oh, oh. 
So, so, but all in all, I thought that it was a good movie. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was good. And I thought some of the stuff was funny. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't want to give away any spoilers no, no. about don't different do relationships and stuff. But mm-hmm. I thought it was really interesting. It was very thought-provoking. Yeah. As you could tell, as my husband had lots of thoughts about indigo. Yeah, and palm oil. The palm oil. So, yeah, so there's that. But So did you like the movie? Yeah. <sighs> It was a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> Too violent for my wife. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty good. So, that's pretty much all I got. Do you got anything else to say about this movie? I don't. No. Oh. Well, in that case, all that we just got heard, you you just heard us say, all that stuff? You know what it is? That was just I'll not let you know. our opinions. Our opinions. And our opinions don't matter, and your I've opinions don't matter. i heard something about that. We just put our opinions on the internet, you know? It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, those are my thoughts and opinions. I have thrown them up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions. But for what it's worth, I thought it was a good movie. I thought thought it was a good movie. My wife thought it was too violent, though. Mm -hmm. But I liked it. So, yeah, The Woman Woman King. The Woman King. Yeah, you can go look at it. And you can study up all on the culture. Yeah. And the history. Yeah.